Hi guys, my name is Luis Felipe Mameri. I am a filmmaker and photographer currently based in Atlanta and I'm very happy to be sharing this video with you guys today. It's an episode of Photo Walk Diaries that I did in Brazil, more specifically in the city of Maragogi in the state of Alagoas. The reason why I love it so much is because it's exactly what I love to do. I like to take travel portraits, I like to interact with the locals. I shot the video about a year ago and I finally got around to making it, but with no further ado, here's the video and I hope you guys like it. episode of Photo Walk Diaries. We are in Maragogi, Brazil. Today we're gonna be shooting some film photography. I'm really happy to bring you guys along. This is what I love to do. I'm very hopeful and let's see what we can find. other than it being a practice is also and most importantly a way to interact with the world it opens a lot of doors for interactions for perspectives that's when it becomes very interesting So a question that I always ask myself is, how do I know what to photograph? What makes a good picture and what doesn't make a good picture? Ultimately, you're looking for a sensation. You're looking for that thing that stimulates you because you're looking around, you're looking around and it's ultimately that moment of, I found something and that's what you take a photo of. You don't take a photo of something that doesn't interest you. You take photographs of things you find beautiful or things that interest you, at least in my opinion.
More than the photograph is the moment you share with these people, with strangers, with the locals, right? You can end up with a beautiful photograph, that's good, but ultimately the photograph is a testimony to the brief moment that you shared with them. And that to me is what makes a life worth living. And if you approach them with respect and humility, they open themselves in very beautiful ways. People, they are vessels of magic, but magic also exists in things, when things meet time. For example, time, sun is shining on this blue paint and it makes it glow. And then you see the cat, and you see the green, and then you see the red. So you don't only have to train your eye, but you also have to train your, your taste, your sensitivity. Right? What stands out to me the most is that this is Brazil. This is the Brazil that is the most authentic. This is the Brazil that you don't see in postcards. This is in Rio de Janeiro, or São Paulo, or Salvador. This is the locals. These are the people that sit at the side of the street to drink. And that's how life goes. You see a lot of billboards depicting white children, you know, with blue eyes, with blonde hair. That's not what Brazil is. Brazil is, 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 is black people, it's moreno, it's a whole mixture of, of different people. And the way that they carry themselves is very beautiful to see. So this, this is what Brazil is. Thank you guys so much for sticking with this video. I hope you guys found something entertaining and valuable in the images. Um, one correction that I wanted to make, in the video I said, this is Brazil. I, I think that's true, but I only think that's part of the truth. The thing is, is that there are so many Brazils inside of Brazil. For example, if you go up north to the Amazon rainforest, that's a different type of Brazil than the one I showcased in this video. If you go down south, that's a different Brazil. What does that mean? It only means that there are so many more places to go visit, so many more people to meet, so many more photographs to take, so many more adventures out there. So pretty exciting stuff. If you'd like, go ahead and subscribe. This channel has been something that I've been wanting to grow. And so I've been putting a lot of effort into this. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next video.